Hello and welcome back, Josh, Sam, and anyone else who's watching to You Stay Classy San Marino. Um, we are having quite a season. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, we are currently in eighth, which is one place higher than it was last year. Uh, we've got ourselves 38 points, is that? Yes, it is, 38 points. And um, yeah, things are generally going pretty well. Uh, we've got ourselves 11 wins, so three more wins and we'll have uh, equaled our record from last year. And yeah, things are doing pretty well. Uh, we're not bothering the uh, title picture, and because of a couple of slightly damaging losses, we're probably not going to get into Europe, but there's still the possibility. Uh, let's have a look at our fixtures. So last video, uh, we lost out to Roma, and then we beat uh, Juve Stabia 3 1. Um, since then, we went on a pretty good run. We beat Padova 4 0, their bottom. Uh, we beat Cremonese uh, 2 1. They were in the relegation zone, but they've actually now climbed out since then. Um, we then lost 2-0 to Fiorentina, who at the time were second bottom, although they've now climbed up very high. Um, we then beat Verona, we lost to Regina, who again were in the relegations, and we seem to lose to anyone who's in this kind of 16th, 17th, 18th, we lose to them. Um, before we drew, uh, we beat Genoa, we then drew 3-3 with uh, Sampdoria in a crazy game. Um, your mask got an absolutely belting, something like 40-yard goal, it was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, 3-3. Uh, we then beat Lazio 2-0, lost 2-1 to Roma in a very unfortunate game. We were, I don't think, st uh, yeah, even statistically we were better than them. Uh, we just couldn't uh, quite keep them out. Uh, that last minute header from a corner, I think it was, um, put us down. Uh, we then lost against Juventus despite being 1-0 up uh, before half halftime. Uh, they scored three in the second half. It was, I mean, they statistically deserved to win uh, for sure, but we were doing really well to keep them out. And we just had the, there was a crazy sort of two or three minutes where they just uh, put three passes, which was annoying. And then we drew 1-1 with Torino in another game which I would have thought we should have, well, yeah, we should have won that game, really. Um, but it is what it is. Now, we're going to now play uh, Milan and Inter. Uh, I decided why not play some big teams um, you know if we can get points off AC Milan again this year that'll be fun uh, and we've never yet beaten Inter so why not why not try uh, on the camera rather than playing Frosinone who will probably beat where are they there they are um, so yeah so this is what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to do those two games. Uh, there's only a seven-day gap between the two, so it shouldn't take too long to um, sim. And yeah, and then I think after that we'll probably just push on and we'll maybe record Regina and Genoa to see where we end up this season. Um, good. So let's do it. Um, I didn't realise we'd have to do some simulation in between those two moments. Oh, it's because it's had to remove that postponed game. Fine. Away at AC Milan... Uh, I think we actually beat them. Was it there that we beat them last year? Can't remember. We we definitely beat them at home this year. Um, we are struggling for finding a good set of a good consistent pair of strikers. Um, Zimiani has been playing well, but I didn't sign the player that I told him I would sign. Uh, basically, I said to him, "Oh yeah, I'll definitely sign uh, that young, terrible." Um, Albanian prospect um, to, to keep you company and then I didn't because why would I do that and um, he got upset with me got the hump so I mean kind of fair enough I suppose but um, at the same time get over yourself you little bitch uh, so yeah and, and, and weirdly he's been on pretty good form since then so we'll see um, Segredo's just come back from a quite a long injury I think he's had three months out with a torn calf um, so we might expect him to struggle in this game a little bit this will be his first game back uh he's also on a yellow card as you saw so we'll see whether or not he gets to play in the next game he tends to get booked um now i know we have scored a lot of goals and beaten ac milan uh, a couple of times recently but i don't th i don't think we should expect to see i i, I just want to make it clear that i expect we'll lose both these two games if we get any points out of them at all, I'll be very happy. Yilmaz puts the ball in Villamos, and we scored straight away. Beautiful stuff. Nine minutes in, we scored at the San Siro. 1-0 to San Marino. Here comes the ball in again. Lovely diving header. The, in fact, sorry, I said that Roma beat us with a, corner, a header from a corner, but it was actually a deep cross that their player dived onto, and it went through the goalkeeper's legs. It was very frustrating. Um, you see there that Segredo has been injured again. Let's try and keep him on, at least for the, the first half. Um, so it's clear to me that we're doing a lot better in terms of not conceding goals this year than we did last year. 
Uh, that said, we still need a... I think we probably need to... I don't know how long we give Bush to um, develop. I mean, he's going to be 19 by the end of this year. Maybe he'll be 20 by the end of the season. I can't remember. Um, but we probably need to go in there and get a new left back. We definitely need at least one more quality centre back. And the real problems position is this one. Central midfield, um, the kind of more attacking side that none of our players hold down a spot for more than two or three games before either falling out of form or just being poor. Oh, it could have been two. D'Antoni makes a good save. Now Mazzanti, a Quegbu. I, I feel like he might be the one that we had at um, Lviv. I'm not sure if that's possible. If he was to even be alive um, this far on, but it just it just feels like it. Um, a Quegbu chases down the ball. Lucio gathers nicely, plays out to the right. Yes, he does. Knight's there. Knight to Milivojevic. Silvera plays the ball through. Silvera does play okay. Oh, it's a lovely ball. And Zimiani scores. It's 2-0 on the counter. Lovely stuff. A great ball from Caballero. It's very rare that he actually does make the pass instead of just uh, trying to shoot himself. But he does in that occasion. And he sets up Zimiani, who I was worried that he'd be caught by number four there. But no, we're 2-0 up. And this is a bit of a surprise. Um, let's now wait for the response. Mazanti, great tackle from Vilamos and a shot over the bar by Mazanti. Maybe we're going to get away with this. We put us up to seventh on the heels of Roma. The the Roma result was particularly damaging because they're the team right above us. In fact, at the time they were slightly below us. They were, I think, the win that they got over us put them above us on goal difference. Uh, and now we're now we're going to be forever chasing them, hoping that they lose out a little bit. Um, they've turned it around though a lot because last year they were terrible. Oh, it's a good save. And Augusto now heads over. We're a bit under the cosh in the last 10 minutes. That's fine. We tune it up. We've got a little cushion. Two minutes of injury time. Now then, Knight up towards Cavaliero, who has started to win a few more things in the air. I mean, oh, that would have been a great goal. Mazanti curls just wide, just wide off the post with his English language. Okay, we've got who's that? Silvera looking pretty. Okay, so Sagrada thinks he can continue. Silvera is looking pretty tired. Must have taken a knock as well. We will let them play on because he will recover a bit from that. Let's just check now. So no, he's not recovered at all. He's been booked. Okay, <laughs> good. Good start to the half. <laughs> Big tired boy. Oh, what a finish from Dufour there. Alain Dufour. Bloody hell. What an absolute walloper that was. Bloody hell. Uh, we might want to consider taking off Siviera. Mihailovic. Oh, yeah, he's just too slow there. Okay, we're going to take him off. We're going to bring on Asensi. Asensi. Okay, let's carry on. Let's watch them get their second after two minutes of the second half. Oh, come on now. I was joking. Thank you. Good save. Mazzanti is going to shoot. It's been deflected. Good tackling from Segredo. Oh, Caballero! Oh, he's in the crop! Oh, how has he done that? Mazzanti. Masculito Dufour. I shouldn't be letting him have shots from long range, but he does. Luckily, Lucio saves. Out to Knight. Knight up to Milovievich. He plays to Caballero. Caballero back to Milovievich. Asensi. Also back from a long-term uh, injury, or me medium to long-term injury. Um, not really found his form yet, but he has only played twice. Mazzanti, no! It's a great finish. <sighs> okay, well, 
it's been a poor start to the half, but it's not something we can't deal with. Um, there's always goals between us. I don't know what it is. Uh, let's maybe take off Segredo. Mashula, Asensi, oh come on now. That's surely offside. Yes, it was. Good finish though from Asante. Okay, Bush, Zimiani, Bush, Yilmaz, Bush again. Nicely done. Keep going. Oh, don't stop. No, no. <laughs> Damn. Well, they deserve a nail-biting win over us, I suppose, after our last two. Oh, we've had a man off as well. What? For fuck's sake. What a load of rubbish. He got himself sent off, what, for complaining, I guess? Appealing against the offside because they were oh, appealing for the offside because it said that we were complaining. Caballero has failed now. If you get yourself sent off, I'm going to scream at you. Lentinelli. Okay, this one's probably beyond us now, and we don't have Zimiani for our next game. Not good. Quegbu, his shot goes well wide, it's fine. Oh, it's a great shot, but Mazzanti well over the bar. They've got some quality. They're a good team. Lucio tonight. Villamos, Lucio. Big ball up towards Caballero. Doesn't get there. Kanyeshna. That means, of course, in Russian. Um, Dufour. Mazzanti. Get off. Bush heads back to Lucio. Essential. Great ball. Caballero. Come on, Caballero. Oh, he's tackled by Lentinelli. Lentinelli? And we don't even get to see the corner. Noise. Smart. Oh, dear. Villa Senor. Good name. Augusto. Villa Moss. Plays in Nazanti, who shoots over the bar. Diaz has been booked. He's going to miss the next match, so that's good, I suppose. Your Maz with the free kick towards the back post. Oh, we win a corner. Can we get one right at the end here? Caballero's ball in. Oh, Villamos, come on, mate. Knight, oh, he's tackled. Knight wins it back, but uh, we're not going to be able to get anything from this. We, could, we just had a few good chances right at the end. It's going to be four. I just can feel it. Aquegbu, Augusto, Pereira... Sometimes you just know. <sighs> That's highly disappointing, considering we were 2 0 up. <laughs> Do you remember that? No, not five. Don't make it be five. What a second half they had. Yeah, bloody hell. And we had a man off. That didn't help. Well, we had a good first half. Now we've got to play Inter, who were even better than AC Milan. Have you seen how Udinese have only conceded 10 goals this season? That's like crazy good. Oh dear. One for four games. Mm. 
yeah, it's frustrating. <clears throat> I can't really say anything more about it. Um, you just see the quality told. Like Mazzanti was much better than any of our players. Uh, we clearly need to sort out our striking. Uh, but actually, I think that it's probably more that we just need to get our midfield and defence sorted out because I feel like once we do get chances, we can score them. Um, but maybe we, we probably do need a really good striker, like another really good striker. But I mean, considering we're eighth in the league two seasons after being promoted, that's not bad at all. Curious and spot. That's a loss. Walid Galal's contract has expired. Well, tis all to be expected. Tis all to be expected. Um, Inter Milan. So we really. I, I'm. I'm trying to think. How do we? Because look how. I mean. So we're getting beat four, four or five off of these teams pretty regularly, and then they're ten points behind the team that's winning the league, pretty comfortably every year. So. Well, at least, you know, challenging. So we need to really pick up our game. We need to stop conceding so many silly goals, which I think probably means a new left-back. Um, or at least, like, a new starting left-back, and we can have Bush sort of rotate through. Um, we also need to think about finding a really quality midfield set of players. Because, I mean, Yilmaz is really good, no questions there. We probably need another centre back, and we probably need a really good striker. Basically, we still need really good players in every position, which we don't have. Um, come on then, let's get to the AC, the Inter Milan game, please. I mean, you've got to say they are paying 163 million pounds to their players every year. It's fair enough that they beat us, I think, considering we're not even on this list. I would say that our one is... Pro our, I mean, we're playing, what, 120 something a week? Maybe. So we we must be up at sort of upwards of 5 to £10 million pounds worth of salary per annum. So we're, we're only, only 16 times less. Nova Horizonte. Oh yeah, so I've um, added the Brazilian leagues because I realised that one of the uh, achievements was to take a team from the bottom Brazilian division to the top Brazilian division. So at one point that will be a um, a part of this channel, although Lord knows when. Dapalovic. Oh, isn't he? Yeah, former Lviv lad. 102 caps. What a player. Still worth 500k. Arvidsson, yeah, well, we'll let you play then, for God's sake. Okay, Western Supermare, what are they doing? No, I don't want your £6 million Lithuanian centre midfielder who's not good. They are ninth. Bolton and Eastbourne at the top of the table there. <laughs> um, who's, how are we doing? Leicester looking like they're going to win the league again, which is nice. Um, Oxford and Bristol City looking relegation bound very good indeed Swindon up in 8th that's fine ok come on Holding. Losing out to Helsingborgs. If, if, if you can keep your head while all about you are losing theirs. Sorry, long water break. There's very little to talk about in the middle of this. Um, you've seen all of the uh, kind of chat 
um, worthy things. I think I've already mentioned them. We're obviously out of the le- out of the cup. The league is gonna be. We're gonna finish in the top ten probably, unless this poor run of form sort of uh, uh, escalates into something that means we drop down into the lower half of the table. It shouldn't do, but you know, bad injuries at certain points of the, of the season mixed with dodgy form, I suppose it can do that. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so it's a sellout. That's good. 6,000 tickets to see Inter in the Syria. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know whether the, what is the good re- uh, re- response to that question. Uh, of course they've got a chance. <laughs> um, who's going to win the league? Well, yes, it's obviously going to be Udinese, so let's, let's say that. Sorry for taking some time there to type away to my colleague, but it's the thing. I, it's the things I do for, for work. Oh no, sorry, that was transfer spend. Oh no, no, yeah, we're looking at. So they did. They don't just spend 160 million on fees. They also spent. Sorry, on 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 wages. They also spent 166 million pounds in transfer fees this year. Jesus Christ. Okay, San Marino versus Inter Milan. The early kickoff. We're on TV. Get a bit more money in the coffers. That's fine. Um, we're not yet playing at the kind of style that I like. We, we, we're much more sort of um, lumpy, lumpy ball, uh, and that's not something that I'm particularly proud of. But it's you know, it's just the way it is, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, Bernas, Bernas not good enough as a sort of secondary player. So yeah. Um, Right. Okay, let's try that then. Only six substitutes, right? Let's put a nice Gino there then. Don't think we've ever beaten them. I'm not sure we've even ever drawn with them before. But we're at home in front of a packed out Olympico with all the bank managers and hoteliers who live in San Marino coming out to support their favoured team. I'm sure the ultras are very posh. Lucio's ball to Brunas. Mihailovic, Sabo. Asensi, nice. Oh, you pieces of... We're just... Not good enough. Oh, okay. nice. Okay, that was interesting. Caballero running with the ball. Lovely stuff. Great run. Still going. Oh, oh, great save. Lovely stuff. Mihailovic, Asensi blocked. Asensi again? No. Okay, now Sabo running forward. Running forward, Sabo. And as we... Penalty. Okay, all right. We'll take it. We'll take it. A yellow card. Asensi's going to take it. He's scored all of the penalties he's taken so far. He's missed that one. But Caballero follows up. Caballero scores. That's his 10th league goal of the season, I think. And we are 1-0 up against Inter. Okay, so we're... T- I mean, this is this is where... I mean, I wouldn't say proper frustration. But this is where you can see the progress that we're making. We're going ahead against these things. We were ahead against Juve. We were ahead against AC Milan. Uh, we're now ahead against Inter. I think we also... Uh, held Udinese to a draw earlier on in the season. We have the ability to match these teams in parts of the 
season, oh, sorry, in parts of each game. We just don't have the full ability to uh, go all the way through um, every single game. Sometimes we can sort of nick it and whatever, but yeah, we, we, we need to just sort of up our quality. Oh dear. So yellow card again, is it going to be? No, just a talking to. Okay, Yilmaz is going to waste this with a free kick, I'm sure. Yep. Oh, he was tipped onto the crossbar. I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. What an effort that was. Brunas Sabo. Sabo goes around his man. Doesn't quite, though. Mihailovic has a shot. Sinani manages to get there before it goes out for a corner. And now Iannani. Oh, and they hit the crossbar now. Mihailovic tries to chase it out, but we do get it there eventually. Asenzi clearing. Milivojevic. Pregya. Oh, you fucking kidding me. I mean, over the top. That guy's name is Seaman. Seaman van der Meulen. Van der Meulen. Out jumps Villamoyes. So their centre back out jumps our centre back, and they score a header from a, a long throw. Great. Right, Knight. To Milivojevic, who wastes his chance by sort of cross shooting, it's not really sure, not really clear. But 1 1 at half time, we'll take it. Um, okay. Let's go. Oh no. This is where it's all going to fall apart again. Ugh. Too easy. Yanni scores. <sighs> Too easy. And we're so much better. They've had two shots on target. We were so much better in terms of our... Uh, well, at least in terms of the statistics in this particular game. It's very frustrating. Twardzik, he's going to set up a goal. Oh no, Martins, what a wild effort. Let's maybe see if we can take off Mihailovic as well. And Sassim Sabo and Cavaliero not doing well up front together. And let's do this. See if that does anything for our boys at the back. Because Mihoff has scored some goals from corners and things, so maybe if we can get one of those, we can try. Caballero wins it back. Sivitson to Sabo. Sivitson again. Puts it in the middle. Asenzi. Oh, my goodness me. Sivitson wins us a corner. Beautiful stuff. 65 minutes gone. Caballero with the corner. Segredo cleared off the line. Sivitson with the ball. He was offside. Why did you, why did you go to it? Oh, you great gubbin. Caballero could have just run onto it. Caballero now with the ball. Asenzi has a wild shot that doesn't go anywhere near it. Knight leaves it. Sabo is fouled by Lille. Yilmaz don't shoot. Oh, you. Okay, we well, we win a corner. At least we win a corner. Sivitson now. Let's put some of these big boys into the box. Caballero on the edge of the <laughs> box. Ball comes in. Segredo. Oh, we're making the chances, man. We're making the chances. Are we going to drop down the league a bit now? No, we're not. We're still in pretty comfortably in eighth. Okay. Lucio to Brunas. I think after this, the only really big team we have to play... Well, they, 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 I think we might have to still play Napoli and Udinese, which is fine. The rest of the games then should be winnable. Um, so I think we'll we'll be able to push up a little bit. Or at least maintain where we are. And nothing's happened. Good. <laughs> oh, smashing grab. What the fuck? That's frustrating. We were better than them. 21 chances we had. Uh, yeah, so unless Torino win, we're still four points clear of them. But then the rest of our games are against teams in this, div in this sort of area here. So I think... Given that we're close enough to Roma, we could still get sixth. Yeah. Seaman van der Meulen. I mean, he's excellent. Six foot four. He used to play for Charlton. <laughs> and they let him go on a free? Fucking hell, Charlton. Seriously. 
no wonder they're in the championship now. Oh, Christ. Okay, um, yeah, we did really well. Okay, right, well, that's the end of that then. So, yeah, like I say, we'll be back at the end of the season for Regina and Genoa. If Regina continue their good form, that might be a pretty straight shootout for 6th or 7th. And we'll see. Um, but, yeah, all the rest of these games should be winnable. Frosinone, definitely winnable. Cagliari, they're on a pretty good run, so maybe not. Napoli, they're good. Brescia, not good. Udinese, not. Uh, they are very good, of course. And then all of those games should be winnable. So we have the chance to finish about sixth. Let's see if we can push on for that. Uh, see you in the next one, guys. Bye.